Hi everyone. Have you ever thought that an average person spends about a third of the day and therefore over 30% of their entire life sleeping? It is terrible to imagine how many interesting and important things we miss because of the natural needs of our bodies. For some mammals, this figure is much higher. Cats, for example, spend a good half of their lives sleeping. Today, we will tell you about how much and how exactly different animals sleep. Let's get it on. Giraffe if you look at the lanky and clumsy Melman from the Madagascar cartoons, you might think that giraffes are very lazy and sleepy animals. Well, they're actually not. It's hard to believe, but the savannah's tallest inhabitants actually sleep no more than two hours a day. And some days, they don't sleep at all. The reason is that giraffes are herbivorous animals. To survive, they spend at least 75% of the day eating, because plants have very little energy value. There are also always predators lurking somewhere nearby. So if a lion can afford to spend 20 hours a day asleep, then its potential prey always has to stay alert. Even when the giraffes finally fall asleep, their rest doesn't last that long. These animals mostly doze on their feet for 5 to 30 minutes and then wake back up. Sometimes they curl up like cats for 15 minutes and fall into a deep sleep, but only if another attentive giraffe is standing on guard. Elephant the largest land mammals sleep even less. Until recently, it was believed that elephants rest quite a lot, because in zoos, they usually sleep from four to six hours a day. However, not so long ago, African scientists observing wild elephants in Botswana managed to find out the truth. And the truth is, the elephant seems to be the least sleeping mammal on Earth. Very often, it doesn't sleep at all for several days in a row. For example, when it needs to cover a very long distance to get away from predators, or poachers. So according to scientists' approximate calculations, elephants sleep only once every three or four days, and they only enter the REM sleep phase, the one that's responsible for the formation of memories and can be recognized by the rapid movements of the eyeballs. To enter that state, the elephants lie down on the ground, like giraffes. By the way, a mammal's size is usually directly connected to the amount of time it sleeps. So elephants and giraffes sleep very little, while sloths or cats 14 to 15 hours a day. Although that's not always true. Lions, as we've already said, are out almost all day because they take a long time to digest the meat that they eat. So the animal's nutrition is also very important. Owl. Those who love to go to bed late are called night owls for a reason. These birds really don't sleep at night at all, because that is when they hunt. At the same time, they always find time for a nap during the day, and sometimes even spend all the daylight hours asleep. Owls have a deep sleep phase, though it only lasts about 11 seconds. For comparison in humans, this phase lasts 20 minutes on average. But sleeping little owls are much more interesting to watch. Spoilers, they don't sleep the the way that you'd expect them to. The thing is, up to a certain point, these chicks' heads are way too heavy for their necks to hold while they're asleep. So the owls just lay down on some surface with their beaks down, stretch out their legs, and dream, just like we do after a hard day's work. Here's an interesting question for you. How do owls manage to sleep in such a position if they spend most of their lives on tree branches? Well, the answer is simple. No, they don't come down to the ground for a nap. Owls have very strong toes on their legs legs, which keep them on the branches even in their sleep. Dolphin have you ever wondered how sea animals don't drown in their sleep? Do they sleep at all? Take dolphins, for example. They do sleep during the day, just like us, but in a slightly different manner. The main difference is that these mammals almost never go into the deeper stages of sleep. Therefore, these clever creatures simply disable one of the hemispheres of the brain, while the other continues to function. At the same time, even the eye on the side of their working hemisphere stays open. The reason behind it is that dolphins simply need to always be on the lookout. They have few but very dangerous enemies in nature. The worst of them is, of course, people. These animals can also be chased by killer whales and some types of sharks. However, that's not the only explanation. You also need to understand that dolphins, unlike fish, must swim to the surface from time to time to get some oxygen. This is what their awake hemisphere is watching out for. 
before. Usually dolphins take a short nap break every two hours until they get the eight hours of sleep that they need. Shark. Even though sharks have to protect themselves much less than dolphins, they also can't go into slow wave sleep, all because their gills would just stop working and the marine predator would simply not be able to survive. Therefore, during the day, the toothy fish rests in a semi-conscious state for only a few minutes. Often, however, it keeps swimming. It all depends on the species. Such a state is described by some researchers as something similar to a catatonic stupor. Professional divers and veterinarians, by the way, have learned how to forcibly put sharks to sleep. To do this, they press on special points on their bodies, and they sink into the so-called tonic immobility. This helps scientists to work with these creatures without risking their own lives. Sea Otter Sea otters that live in the North Pacific Ocean spend almost all of their lives in shallow water and only very rarely come to land. Naturally, they sleep in water as well, and probably no other animal does it more adorably. Here's what it looks like. Sea otters float to the water's surface and, entangled in seaweed, lie on their backs and fall asleep. By the way, algae plays a very important role. They help the animals to stay in place and not be carried away into the open ocean. However, this was not enough for the sea otters. So, for their peace of mind, they also hold their paws while asleep. That way, the animal knows that they will not be separated during their sleep for sure. But what are small sea otters that can't yet firmly squeeze their parents' paws supposed to do? Everything is simple. The cub sleeps right on the mother's stomach, clutching her tightly. Walrus these amazing Arctic animals who can weigh up to several tons are extremely close-knit and sociable. Hello. These animals live in huge groups of several thousand individuals and do everything together. Of course, they sleep together as well. There is an interesting organ in their bodies, an air sac that's usually found on birds. It's connected to the animal's esophagus and can fit 50 liters of air in it. When the sac is fully filled, the walrus can stay on the water surface without putting any effort into it. That is how they sleep, in huge groups, sticking their heads out. At the same time, while resting, the herd always has lookouts who wake everyone up in case of approaching danger. In rare cases, walruses sleep sprawled out right on the beach. Koala if anyone can be called a champion sleeper, it is the koala. Not only does the Australian beast sleep from 18 to 22 hours a day, it also does it in the cutest poses. In rare moments of being awake, koalas indulge in a different kind of hedonism. They constantly eat, mostly eucalyptus leaves. In a couple of hours, one adult specimen can devour about half a kilo of them. Eating, by the way, is the main reason why koalas sleep so much. The thing is, eucalyptus is toxic which puts enormous pressure on the koala's digestive system. As a result, a koala's stomach takes a very long time to digest the food and get rid of its toxins, while the nutritional value of what is eaten is tiny. By the way, these animals don't drink water either. They get the liquid from their favorite eucalyptus leaves as well. Meerkat. A sleepy meerkat is remarkably similar to a human sitting at a boring lesson or work after lunch. These small animals fall asleep sitting, staggering, and even dropping their heads on their chests, just like people. However, it's more typical of species who live in captivity, while in the wild, meerkats follow a very strict daily routine. The most surprising thing is that meerkats always live in groups with strict matriarchy. This means that even during sleep, the mother of the family has a privileged position. So what does this mean? exactly. The entire family of meerkats usually rests lying on top of each other and forming a kind of pile. At the same time, the mother sleeps in the deepest part of this group so that she is warm and as comfortable as possible. Some animals also stay outside as lookouts. Aardvark this African animal, which looks like a pig, a hare, and a kangaroo all mixed together, is funny enough as it is. However, it looks even funnier asleep. While resting, this animal twitches its legs and nose funnily, as if smelling its favorite food, ants. In the wild, aardvarks sleep almost all day long and come to the surface only under the cover of night. They sleep in deep burrows, which they dig themselves. The depth of such shelters can reach from 2 to 13 meters. 
Hey buddy, are you tired of watching videos about cute animals and heartwarming stories? You need something more serious in your life. Tough cars, cool robots and the most unusual gadgets in the world. Get the high-tech adrenaline rush you need on Texan. Subscribe now, we are waiting for you.